Sunshine Wild Ones, it's Bernadette. I am here on this Monday, October 19th with your Pick a Card Daily Tarot Reading. If you don't know what the card is yet, here's a hint. When the buzzer rings away, oh, they're walking like an Egyptian. Slap me right back into the 80s. Couldn't find a dang thing Egyptian in my house to wear. I'm going to take care of that. I, next time we got Egypt coming up, I'm going to be all over it. Yes, I am. Okay, so the card today is... The Scarab, the Ten of Wands. And, um, you know, it's kind of crazy that it shows up on a Monday because, you know, Monday's about the root chakra, right? And Monday is all about the moon energy, which is all about the emotions and the shadowy side of life and that kind of thing. But the, um, the Ten of Wands is, and the Scarab, that's very closely related to the sun god Ra in, in Egyptian lore and legend. And so you've got two kind of dichotomously opposed planetary influences. You've got the sun, you've got the moon, and then you've got the overall meaning. Even before we get to the scarab, let's talk about the meaning of the Ten of Wands for you, in particular on this Monday. And some of you will be at work, you're working from home, you're back to work, you're schooling your children. Um, it, it, it's a, this is a big thing to pay attention to, this little baby bug. Um, because it's, my God, the mythology behind this is just unbelievable. And in metaphysical, new agey, um, shamanic circles, it's a very extremely respected um, totem animal, power animal, spirit animal. So, you know, you better wake up and pay attention. All right, so as you know, I use my own award-winning Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. And as we take a look at what the traditional card means in the Rider Waite deck, because that's what um, this my deck is based on, we take a look at this old boy who is just, you know, man, he looks like he's got his back in it. He looks like he's toiling like nobody's business. And I <laughs> that cracks me up because, you know, clearly he ain't a country boy. If he's a country boy, he'd have his pickup truck there, and those wands would be tossed in the back of that truck, and he'd be don't, 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 don't down the road taking those things wherever they are and get to with his buddies and all their beer in their cooler and those things will be loaded and plugged in the ground lickety split. The reason I bring that up is because this card, the meaning of it is ambition is a good servant but a bad master. And I have often mentioned in my videos and my writing, I'm a straight up workaholic. And there was a time in my life it was uh, super detrimental. And I it's not that way anymore. I do it for the pure love of creation, for the pure love of, um, you know, it is my art. It is my life. It is my opus, so to speak, whatever, you know, I'm putting out there. And for you all today, what is just, please, it's critical. Please, please, please pay attention to this is you, you don't have to toil as hard as you think you have to toil. And where you're from in this world matters. I mean, certainly as it comes to all the cards, but it matters as it comes to this card. If you're a New Yorker, if you are a Californian, if you are from Brazil, if you're from Africa, if you're from England, if you're from wherever, what does hard work mean there? And how do people by and large accomplish these big tasks that they set out to do? And so when I bring up my reference for, you know, how to make that happen, I grew up in a real practical kind of like, you just roll up your shirt sleeves, you get her done. But you look for the ways that aren't going to make you break your back. I hesitate to work smart, not hard. Um, you know, we all hear that. And then when we're in the middle of sweating our minds out and, you know, we're like, oh, I can go one more step. Um, we, we may not think that we've made the smartest choices and we may think we're working too hard, but maybe that's because we didn't set the intention of working smarter first. It's kind of like when you've got to pick up something super heavy um, and you're struggling and struggling and you're like, uh, 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 and somebody, br somebody brings out a metal pole as a lever and says, plink, and that 70 or 80 pound thing just pops right out of the ground. Um, I bring that up because my ex-husband and I were taking that concrete um, footer one time for a post, and he's like, wow, and he's, he's built like Baby Atlas. The guy's stronger than, it's unreally superhuman. 
And uh, I just looked at him and I went over and got a metal pole. <laughs> I just leveraged that thing down and put my foot on it. And that big old, you know, hunk of cement said plop right on the ground. You should have seen the look on his face. It was hilarious. I'll laugh about it today. But, it, you know, this card really does mean that. And when you take a look at the pyramids in the back, Remember that pyramids gather energy from the bottom up and it comes to their apex, right? And then that energy shoots out the top. And what's cool about a pyramid is you can direct that point anywhere you want. The other thing um, about the Ten of Wands, it, you know, just to take a little bit uh, deeper look into its symbolism, is it really is a re you reap what you sow. And when you take a look at how the wands, the sticks are fanned out, they could be blocking his vision a bit, and, and you don't want to. He, he, can't, he can't see the beautiful blue sky in front of him. He can't see, you know, the freshly plowed field. He, he, he can't see. He can't see. And that's a big part of this, which is interesting because the, um, the Kabbalists call this card the Lord of Oppression. And you, you don't have to have it be that way. You, you can still have your fiery enthusiasm because astrologically this card corresponds to Saturn uh, in Sagittarius, which is all about, you know, let's go, let's go, let's go, fire, fire, fire. But if you think kind of of Ebenezer Scrooge and like he's this wildly successful businessman, but he's got no compassion or love for anybody, including himself. And he, and he comes to find out he doesn't even really love his money. Even if it's not about the money, whatever you're doing, um, there's something there that is driving you and blocking your vision from what it is that you really need to see. Now, it, it's, it is a card that, that says, hey, there's success in all things. That's coming to you. That's a harbinger. It's an omen that whatever big burden that, you're, that you are carrying or you're gathering up or you're trying to move, because every time I see this card in a reading, I feel like somebody wants to move physically and whether it's a job, a relationship, a, a home and sure enough, like 99% of the time, that's it. So maybe you want to move your business or your home from one place to another. Maybe you want to move from one business to another. Maybe there's something that you want to achieve. It could be, it could be dropping weight it, that, you know, certainly good Lord knows, you know, I'm the queen of oppression when it comes to dropping that weight. Right. So, um, that's the hardest dang thing. But um, it, it, there's something you've got cooking. It's so important that you see this today so that you can marry the energies of the sun, which illuminates in its own way, and the moon, which illuminates in its own way. And that may be as simple as making sure that you're getting enough sleep at night so that when you're in the dream time, you can travel to the astral planes, to the places that you want to go, and get the information that you need at that time to, to create this thing. Now, one of the things that people joke about with beetles is that they lay their, you know, their dung beetles and they lay their eggs in poo. And again, I'm an old country girl. I, Y'all, I stand by good poo. You ever want anything to grow? You carry yourself over to some, some old boy's, you know, farm and get a whole bunch of cow manure and let it, you know, let it sit and cure and whatever. And then, oh my God, if you can get a hold of rabbit poo, that stuff is worth its weight in platinum right there. So, um, there's something about, <laughs> I know how funny that sounds. I really do. Maybe we should take a break and walk like an Egyptian just because I know how kooky that sounds, but they're really what it's saying is there's a fertilizer that you're missing. What is that fertilizer? What do you need to fertilize this crop that you're planting, this endeavor that you're making, that you're doing? And, and how long should you let it like cure in there? How long should you let it gestate in there? Well, you can take a look at all kinds of things. You can take a look at the amount of, you know, legs that a beetle has, whatever kind of scarab that you like. You can take a look at, you know, the horns. Um, anytime I see an animal that's got horns, that's always a call that they're an antenna to the divine. They're, they're getting more divine messages than you might imagine. And it does, you know, it, it does call for when they lay their eggs and they, they bury them in dung, they, they bury those eggs under the ground. They just let it sit. 
and that may be it. You just may need to plant it and then just sit and be quiet. The last week was a big message about that, about having the strength to just sit in quiet and let things spin around you for your own highest and best good in, in the most positive ways. And man, oh man, that resonated with a whole bunch of you. You guys, my inbox said kablam! And I'm glad it was helpful. I'm so happy it was helpful because this past week has been the week of readings where it's just been like, no matter how much I've said, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. People just needed to get their stories out and they were just like, Fwee! and okay, there I sat trying to, you know, okay, I'm getting this psychic message and I just started taking notes and gave them all their psychic messages at the end because at the beginning, they just had this need to go, you know, torpedo and that's okay. So when you're thinking about what, what fertilizer to use, and where to um, plant it and store it and keep it safe uh, while it's fertilizing, while it's gestating. Give, give some thought to that because I don't know, y'all. I just have this, um, I don't know. I just have this feeling there's so many of you out there that, um, that have these great plans. And I'm not saying like, take over the world or, you know, do this or do that. But whatever that means for you, y'all got stuff cooking out there and it's beautiful and you're going to do it. Meaning if, if this reading is really is just as simple as you just woke up today and asked the animal allies to say, hey, if I start this, I just need a sign that it's the right path for me and it's all going to be okay. Okay, here's your sign in a beautiful, um, iridescent, just gorgeous shell scarab. And, you know, when you think about insects, you think about the mythology and the symbolism and meaning of insects. Well, man, they're clean. They are quicker picker uppers, man. They're all about cleaning up this earth. And there might be, um, there might be a call for you to find an area that needs cleaning up first and then you plant the seeds and you do this you know in the south we call it preparing the field or you know cultivating that you know listen you don't have to be from the south and all that stuff but um you know uh i don't know there's just something the feeling of this is so big but it feels so solid and safe and stable that if you don't plunge yourself over the edge, if you don't turn into this guy that's like, you know, what what do you suppose those wands weigh? Ten, 10 pounds a piece, maybe? Probably not. You know, if you don't turn into this guy that's like, oh, like a ten of wands, oh, and you stop seeing, you allow yourself to see, you... I can't even imagine what you're going to accomplish. Okay, so let's say that um, Scarab has come to you today as a spirit animal. Well, it, it's, it really is time for you to trust that you've chosen the right path, even if... <laughs> oh, gosh, y'all. Last week, oh, I had this poor old gal. I just wanted to give her a big hug. She just was convinced that she had made absolute mincemeat of her life. She is just convinced that everything had gone to the S word and there would never be any coming back from it. She's only in her thirties. I'm like, just listen, mathematically speaking, the odds are ever in your favor. Okay. So let's get that straight from the jump. But, but then she was able to get specifics from the animal allies that made her see things in a different light. So today, just trust that if you feel in your spirit, in your heart, that um, Scarab has come to you as a spirit animal, you're on the right path or you're fixing to be on the right path. You, you really are. Just, put, just place your trust in that, okay? So if you are, uh, you identify with Scarab as a totem animal and um, 
man, I have a buddy. I, I know this person. I just know it in the deepest part of my soul. I, I think this is probably the first life this person has been back since ancient Egypt. I think they just, she just resonates with that time so much and it hits her entire focus. I really believe she's like this misplaced, you know, Egyptian goddess, Egyptian queen, Egyptian something. And she's, she is a great achiever a great achiever and, and the Egyptians were right. So you, you're a great achiever. Good for you. Now, if, um, if Scarab has come to you, if you're feeling like, well, I want to get all like the powerful parts or the strongest parts from Scarab, it really is about self-protection. And remember, this is a flying insect, which means yes, they bear it. And again, you know, you've got the sun energy of raw, you've got the moon energy of a Monday, and you've got all these dichotomies, and then we know that the regeneration, the cultivating, the planting of, of their species comes by putting their eggs in the little dung things and burying them underground. If that's not earth energy, I don't even know what is, which of course dovetails on today being the root chakra day, right? Okay. And now beetles are winged things, which immediately ties them to the air element. And that activates your throat chakra, your communication, your higher self. You, you, you might need help. I mean, listen, I, I understand not wanting to ask for help. Man, I'd rather, I'd rather step on my own lips. Truly, I would. But there is great wisdom in asking for help. And you might need some help with this. So realize this doesn't have to be a physical endeavor. It can be a mental endeavor. I've been thinking about some changes with what is my spirit animal.com and they're no joke. I mean, it's going to take a little bit of time and it's going to cost a little bit of money, but I've, I've, I feel like, cause I've been told by the spirit animals that it's going to best serve the community. So I'm going to do it. And it's, it's taken me a couple of years to like wrap my head around, you know, doing it. But finally I'm like, okay, there's my sign. And it's, um, it, that's a call on you today is it's about self-protection because there's going to be something um, about your community, about who you want to serve, whether it's yourself, your family, um, you know, the community at large. I don't know what it is, but write in and tell me or put it in the comments below because y'all out there, you, you're some smart, powerful people and I just can feel it, man. I'm just like, ooh, there's something buzzing around this morning's reading for a Monday, right? And it is, uh, it's powerful. No matter how tiny those little beetles are, remember when the iridescent ones glisten in the sunlight, it takes people's breath away. They don't even think they're real. They're like, is that a glass sculpture? Is that a, you know, um, it, but it is real. And all of those colors, all of the beauty, all of the everything, it's yours. You just got to reach out and grab it. Don't, don't, you know, fall like a domino. Don't do that, right? Walk like an Egyptian all you want, but don't fall down like a domino. Ask for help. Um, understand that you've got to look at both sides of the situation because you've got the sun and you've got the moon energy. And you'll be fine, Bubala. It'll be fabulous. It'll just be so great. And tell me what it is. I love to hear you guys' success stories. They just, yeah, they do. Uh, they, they just warm my heart so much because, you know, the spirit animals and I always want the best for you. So all of that said, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Get your copy of the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck so you too can do amazing readings. Not that I do, but the animals do help me out. Um, and healings. Um, I'm going to, in the next couple of months, we're going to talk about healing with the spirit animals. And it's a brand new system. No one else is doing it. And I really feel like it's going to help you all a lot. So the most important thing of all time, especially on this Monday, when you've got so much to think about is to what? To stay wild. <laughs>